Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. I have a great video for you. Okay, you guys know I love makeup brushes and hopefully you've all seen my Wayne Goss face set brush video that I did a couple weeks ago. Well today I have the new NARS face brushes that I wanna show you. NARS sent these to me uh, a couple weeks ago so I've actually been using them for the last couple weeks and I'm really impressed, I love them. I had a couple of their old brushes but I didn't have the full set. Uh, coming up will be a video with the eye brushes uh, from NARS but I just I needed to break those up into two videos because there's so many brushes. So um, I had before I had three of their brushes. I had the Ida. This is the new Ida. I had the Yachio. This is also the new Yachio. So, um, and then I had the Botan already too. So this is the new Botan. So I'm just going to show you the new brushes today and tell you a little bit about them. And I just used them this morning to get ready. So if they don't look clean, it's because I just used them. So that's how you know I've actually been using them. Okay. So I want to start with the number 10 brush. This is for the face. This is the powder brush. It is big, you can see. And I love that it's got the little red dot on the end. It's like a really nice weighted handle. Uh, it is Pen Super A Goat Hair is what it's made out of. And NARS's description of what to use this brush for, brush 10, is to blend, buff, and diffuse loose powder for a lustrous face, double domed with layers of full soft hair to pick up and deposit powder evenly. Uh, it's for your complexion, color texture, and dimension, and this retails for $52. This is a very nice powder brush. Okay, number 11. This is actually probably my favorite brush out of the face collection of the new brush, uh, out of the new collection. Uh, this is awesome. Once again, it has the end of the red, the, the end part is the red cap, and it's a short handle, and it looks like a kabuki, and so I, I actually use it more like a kabuki. I'm using it to set my powder. I'm using it with, like, MAC, like, Prep and Prime finishing powder, or the Laura Mercier finishing powder, uh, Tarte, I've been using it with whatever those like, you know, finishing powders are. And um, just really kind of like buffing my powder into my face, like, but stippling it in too as well, not like brushing it around. But they call this one the bronzing powder brush. Um, it is Pen Super AA hair, goat hair, and it is definitely softer, you can tell the difference. Um, it says it's an artist essential for controlled application. The dense concentration of soft natural hair holds and applies product for an all over even glow. I actually have not tried this for bronzer yet, but I will probably because I mostly don't like bronze all over my face. I mostly just, um, you know, use a bronzer for contouring and, but I will try and I'll let you know what I think about that one. But this really is like my must like out of these like new face brushes. This is like my must have. I love it. Uh, this brush also retails for $52. Okay, next is brush number 20, and this is a cheek brush. Same thing, it's like that same new handle style, red end cap, I love it. It has NARS on one side, and then it has the brush number embossed on the other side. I love the matte finish of these brushes, and they're they're a really nice weight, so they're not, um, they don't feel flimsy. And this is Pen Super 3A Goat Hair, uh, which is a really nice, very soft uh, brush, very soft hair. Um, let's see, this says it is for, prof it's professionally dome, it's professional dome shape deposits blush pigments perfectly, diffuses and blends for smooth effortless application. Retails for $42 and I actually, um, I used this for, um, a little bit like trying to warm up my face a little bit with a tiny little bit of bronzer because I self tanned today and, um, cause I have an event tonight. So I have to be in a cocktail dress tonight. So I actually was trying to warm up my face a little bit today with this in case you're thinking I look a little bit tanner than normal. You're right. I don't have my contacts in, so I really can't see myself on the viewfinder very well. So I hope this video is in focus because the way I look at the viewfinder, it doesn't look in focus. So bad allergies, what can I say? Uh, anyway, this is a great blush brush, but there is a blush brush that I like better and that's the number 21 contour brush. And um, this is a new brush. They redid the whole collection and then they launched a couple new ones. And this is one of Mr. Nars, Francois Nars's favorite brushes. He loves an angle brush. And so this is one of his favorite new brushes. Same handle, same red cap. 
And this says, um, expertly angled for sculpting and highlighting, an artist essential to define and blend with controlled application. And I've been using this as my blusher, blush brush, and I love it, but I actually also love this. This is what I used to put on my highlight today, and I loved it as a highlight brush. It was so, I feel like it did such a beautiful job for highlight. Um, the next brush I wanna show you, you might think that should be in the eye collection brush. Um, this is a new brush. This is number 41 and it's a diffusing brush. Same long handle, red cap on the end, and a really nice, like soft, thick brush head to it. Um, now this it says it's a must have for blending and creating the smoky eye. Lush bristles softly apply shadow for a light veil of color. Okay, that might be a great use for it, but can I tell you what I am using this brush for and what I think it's perfect for? setting your under eye concealer with your powder because it's pillow soft, it's so nice, and it's the right size. Um, it's a little bit big for me for an eye brush, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a pretty thick brush, but I really like it for under eye concealing, or under eye setting. This brush is $32. Now, of course, also in the collection is the new Ida brush. This brush is spelled I-T-A, so if you're wondering how to pronounce this and you're calling it the Ida or I-T-A, it's actually called, it's pronounced Ita. And this is the brand new one. It's the exact same handle. Um, I mean, it's, and it's the exact same design. It's the darker matte black handle. It's a blacker handle. And it's a nicer, much softer um, hair for the, the brush. I was actually comparing the two of them the other day. Um, the old one is just fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but this one is actually softer and nicer. And this is the contour brush. Uh, this is like the cult classic, like most famous, like contour brush. It makes contouring a snap. It's so easy. It does exactly like what you need it to do. And so the, for those of you who have been dying to get your hands on the Ida and you didn't get it already from the NARS Melrose store because they have, they launched it, they pre-launched it back in, uh, February uh, to handle all the orders for those of you who called in because I told you you could get it there and uh, so anyway it's really nice this retails for $55 the old Ida was 39 so it's a significant price jump but I actually love it and honestly if you don't have the Ida you really need it uh, it is really the con best contouring brush out there and I know some of you are gonna be like but I think you should use the Becca or this that and another thing Hakahoto or no this is the best uh, the next is the new Yachio. This is the brush that I call like the Swiss Army Knife of brushes. You've seen me talk about this brush, not this one because this is the new one, but you've seen me talk about my Yachio before. I've had it forever. I love it for my blush. I love it for my highlight. I love it for my eyes. Um, I I could actually do my whole face with this brush if it came down to it. And I think this is like one of the most like important brushes that you can have in your um, makeup brush collection. This one I think is like 50 or 55 too, I can't remember, but it's just a perfect brush. And the very last one from the face collection is the Botan. This is like this big old like setting brush. And um, you've seen me talk about the other one before. My other one was like so spread out and this was like so much more like densely like packed still, which is kind of nice. Hard to get you a good example of this, but this is a like a setting brush or a, it's a big kabuki. Um, it's nice like if you're doing body, anything with your body, um, but it's really nice for like buffing, if you're buffing a powder foundation, which I don't very often wear powder foundation, but it, it buffs your pow powder foundation into such a beautiful finish. And in a pinch, this is a, this edge to this one. I don't know if you can see this edge. Uh, anyway, this edge does a beautiful cut contour. Really, really nice. Oh, do you see that like highlight on that cheekbone? Ooh, highlight. Anyway, um, and I think that this brush retails for $80. I can't remember. It's, it is not, it's a spendy one, but it's a nice one. So you guys, those are the new NARS brushes. I'm really happy with them. I really like them. I've enjoyed using them for the past couple weeks. Please don't ask me how they compare to the Wayne Goss brushes because I haven't actually gotten to use the Goss brushes yet. I just got to see them the day that I filmed and I got to play with them that day and I got to imagine how I would use them, but I can't compare the two um, at this point, but someday, hopefully, I'll be able to compare them. Anyway, you guys, don't forget that coming soon, will be uh, the new eye brushes from NARS, a, quick, a first look at those. And then those brushes launch in stores and online 
uh, March 23rd, 22nd or 23rd, I can't remember. So those are, it's right around the corner, but you can always call the NARS Melrose Boutique. Uh, they could, they have them and they're, they're selling them already. So you could get them that way. You guys, thanks so much. Have a great day.